A San Francisco teachers union is coming under fire this morning for offering an anti-Trump lesson plan for teachers in that district. That lesson labeling President-elect Donald Trump a sexist and a racist man who, quote, became president by pandering to a huge racist and sexist base. It was created by a teacher who says that she hopes to empower and support students. But our next guest is calling it inappropriate propaganda. Joining us now is Harmeet Dillon. She is the RNC committee woman from California and the former vice chair of the California Republican Party. Harmeet, thank you so much for being with us. Happy to be here this morning, Ainsley. Well, thank, thank you so much. So this is a union that represents teachers in that district and represents 57,000 students in that district. And they're posting this on their website that this is a new t uh, lesson plan for teachers to follow to teach kids about Donald Trump being a racist and a sexist. What's your reaction? Well, I, I think it's very inappropriate, as I've mentioned. And it's not just that Donald Trump is a racist, sexist, homophobic, Islamophobic, bad person, but that the people who voted for him are also all of those bad things, racist and sexist. And it's a very one-sided um, uh, vision, uh, a very dark vision, and a very negative and unbalanced vision of what happened in this election. Um, and I think it's, uh, you know, going to have a chilling effect on students who might have uh, been conservative themselves or might have parents who voted for Donald Trump. There are a few of us Republicans here in San Francisco. Right. What happened to teaching math and science? I mean, this is, what should parents do that live in this district? Well, so this is public school and parents, we pay pretty high taxes here, property taxes and other taxes here in San Francisco. If I were a parent of a high school uh, where this lesson plan was being taught, I would demand that uh, that not be the lesson and that any lesson on civics around the election, which is appropriate, be balanced. You know, for example, let's talk about electoral college versus popular vote. Or even let's talk about some of the controversial issues that were raised by both candidates in the presidential election. Um, but this kind of, kind of propaganda, which directs them towards a Michael Moore video made after the election as a... Uh, as a basis for commentary and thought and how they should be thinking, obviously very much against Donald Trump, or an essay about white rage, which is another piece of that lesson plan, um, telling students that white legislators are racist and that the whole society around them is racist. I think it's just, uh, you know, really, it's almost child abuse to present students with this dark, one-sided view of what the whole world around them is, which it isn't like that. Harmi, what if, what if the roles were reversed? What if a red state came out and said, we need a lesson plan on how to deal with Hillary Clinton, who, who has been proven to be a liar and has not followed the rules. What would the reaction be? Well, I think that's a great question. To me, as a taxpayer, I would have the same reaction, which is that it is not the place of our public schools to be indoctrinating students one way or the other. It is the place of the schools to make sure that they're fully educated and equipped with all the tools they need to succeed after they graduate. And putting all this baggage on them that they're about to go into this horrible, racist, sexist, homophobic, Islamophobic world out there who voted for the new president, I think is really, you know, counterproductive to equipping them to succeed in, uh, in America. All right. Thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate your perspective. Have a good weekend. My pleasure.